What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here. And in this video, as promised, I will be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 9.1 back to 9.0.2. So you updated, but you realize you miss your jailbreak or it's just not what you expected. So if you wanna go back and jailbreak your device on 9.0.2, do all those cool things you couldn't before, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to easily downgrade from 9.1 to 9.0.2 and jailbreak untethered. So just to show you guys, 9.1 on my iPhone 6s. This does work for any iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone, you know, regardless. Now, the downgrade part can be done on Windows or Mac, no preference there. However, if you guys want to jailbreak, that part has to take place on a Windows computer. So it's very simple. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so go ahead and plug in your device to your computer. It's a very simple process. You guys do need to download two files though, and those links can be found right there to the right. So you guys need to download your specific 9.0.2 firmware file and pay 1.1.0 new version. So we're going to go ahead and downgrade very quick and then get to the jailbreak part. Now it doesn't matter for the downgrade part, whether it's a Mac or Windows it works the same. All you guys need is iTunes and that firmware file downloaded and set to your desktop. All right. So with your device plugged in and trusting iTunes, it's as simple as this. So just go ahead and depending on what you want to do, we're going to have two options here. If you guys want to completely wipe your phone, erase everything off of it, we're going to use the restore option. If you guys want to keep your data intact while downgrading, we'll use the check for update option. So restore, completely wipe everything, check for update. It's actually going to preserve your data and downgrade. So it's up to you. I personally prefer to keep my data. So I'm going to go ahead and hold option on a Mac or shift on a Windows computer and left click this option or whichever option you're choosing. So go ahead and select the appropriate firmware and make sure the one you downloaded or are downloading matches up with the model of your device, which can be found on the back. If you have a 6S or a 6, you don't need to worry about this, but older devices have to have a model specific firmware file. So make sure you downloaded the correct one. Otherwise you will get an error. Go ahead and select open and select update. So even though we're updating, we're actually downgrading and it won't erase all of your files. So, you know, you could get some errors here for some people. I usually have no issues with this. One, your host's file might be messed with. So you guys might want to check on that, but you guys should have no errors. Everything should go smoothly. I mean, I get a lot of people that complain because of aftermarket cables. If you have a bad cable, you might get a 3194 downgrade error. Otherwise, this is the way you should be seeing. You should have no problems. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, your device will be running a jailbreakable firmware 9.0.2. And I'll be right back when that's done. All right. And just like that, there we go. Now, I don't have to go through a setup menu because I didn't restore. I just, you know, updated or downgraded without erasing all of my data. So any apps you may have had, anything that was on your phone will still be there after using this method. So that's part one. You guys are now on iOS 9.0.2. Make sure not to update. If you guys jailbreak, you won't be able to from your device, but just take care not to do it on your computer. There we go. 9.0.2. So part two of this video, let's really quickly run through the jailbreak. All right. And because of course you cannot jailbreak yet on a Mac computer, I'm actually going to be showing you this process on a Windows PC. So first thing is of course to have the latest version of Pangu and whoops, I have a 0.01. The 1.1.0 version includes a lot of fixes, the latest Cydia, latest Cydia substrate. So it's definitely good to have the newest version, which I do have down below in the description. Let me redownload this and I'll be right back. All right, so first thing first, make sure of course your uh, device is trusted and we're ready to begin. So you guys can be on the latest version of iTunes. It really does not matter. Uh, I'm on 12.3. So let's go ahead and right click on Pangu, run as administrator, and I just downloaded the newest version. So we're good to go. So your device should be recognized. If it's not, change your USB cable, change the USB port. If it's a fake one, I mean, change it. Uh, restart your computer, you guys should be good. But go ahead and click Start, Already, Backup, and uh, here we go. So it'll actually prompt you several times to do things, and uh, it's very simple. I mean, first thing is just to enable airplane mode, it's gonna disable it, and second thing is to open an app and enable photo viewing. So very simple stuff. As soon as the first prompt is here, I'll be right back. So at this point, if iTunes opens, don't worry about it. I mean, you could just go ahead and click cancel, exit out of it. And it's asking me to go ahead and enable airplane mode again. So do just as it says and stay here. Don't close the device or anything. And it's going to keep going with the process. Now, I actually did get stuck at 10 or 15%. If that happens, just uh, unplug your device, close Pangu, reopen it and start again. You know, it just sometimes gets stuck. Uh, I don't know what that was, just a glitch, but don't worry, you just unplug it and redo. All right, so after enabling airplane mode, the last thing it'll ask you to do is open up the Pangu app. 
select accept and allow it to view your photos. This is the exploit it uses in order to finally jailbreak your device. So you're almost done. Just give it a few more minutes and your device will reboot just like this. So afterwards, you'll see Cydia. Go ahead and re-enable Wi-Fi. And the first time you open up Cydia, it'll set up the packages. This usually takes five to 10 minutes. Set your device aside and uh, don't do anything. Now, you guys might be getting this message a lot. Don't pay any attention to it. Even though it says storage is almost full, it's not actually true. It's just part of the exploit. Uh, don't worry about that. So now open up Cydia. And at this point, go into the changes tab and hit refresh if it doesn't start automatically. After this is done reloading data, sometimes there will be updates in here, essential upgrades, and uh, let's ignore it temporarily, but you guys wanna go ahead and select upgrade and confirm right away. This is the best thing you can do for your device after uh, jailbreaking. Make sure you're on top of all of the updates. It helps with the stability and all of that. And anyways, guys, you are now done. You've successfully downgraded from iOS 9.1 to 9.0.2, and you are now able to jailbreak and enjoy Cydia and all of your tweaks that you had before. Now, whether or not you updated on accident or did it on purpose and wanted to go back, this is the best way to downgrade your device. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Now, I just wanna mention that if you're still watching this and you haven't done it, that this grace period is gonna expire in about one to three weeks on average. So you don't have much time. If you wanna downgrade, you should be on top of that and finish it as soon as possible because Apple will close the signing period for 9.0.2 and then you'll be stuck in the dark. So again, thanks so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the jailbreak, all of your tweaks. Uh, be very careful, be very vigilant not to update because that's the end of the jailbreak for a considerable amount of time. Enjoy the jailbreak, guys. Peace.